Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Under the guidance of Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam. Let's start with the Sadguru Vandanam. Nityanandam Paramasukhanam Kevalam Jnanam Urtim Dvandvatitam Gaganasadushnam Tattamasya Dilakshyam Ekam Nityam Vimalamachalam Sarvadi Sakshi Bhutam Let's go through the disclaimers. Security measures. No photography, video, audio, recording. Important cautions. Please be aware of the important cautions. What is spa manifestation? Let's hear from Bhagwan himself explaining what is spa manifestation. All the 25 states of consciousness, when they happen in you due to your chemicals and hormones, ups and downs, it is powerlessness. When it happens in you out of your free will and consciousness, it is powerfulness, that's all. When you fall into sleep, it is powerlessness. When you enter into sleep, it is powerfulness. When you fall into dream, it is powerlessness. When you decide to dream, it is powerfulness. So I have added the ultimate powerfulness Turiyatita, Turiyatita, in your whole being and doing, manifest all the powers. Understand, power manifestation is nothing but cognitive shift. It is not work. It is cognitive shift. Understand? It is just cognitive shift. It's not work. Work is a four-letter word. <laughs> Power manifestation is cognitive shift. Playing with life. Playing with being alive. Static matter, dynamic activity, 
strategic existence all this three has no boundary you are one with it you are alive in everything everything listens to you everything decides as you want power manifestation is cognitive shift raising your frequency not work now let's understand who is parameshiva bhagwan himself has beautifully explained the parameshiva in all of us parameshiva does manifestation maintenance rejuvenation pulling out of delusion and liberation he resides in his supreme parama shiva swarupa as ajomuha aradomuha anban beyond form formlessness his parama shiva swarupa that parama shiva swarupa manifests with this five faces as sada shiva tatpurusha vamadeva ahora satyojata ishana five faces he manifests and does the panchakritya srishti manifestation stiti sustenance samhara rejuvenation prabhava pulling out of delusion anugraha liberation understand he does all these five job through these five faces now listen carefully tatpurusham vamadevam satyojatam ahoram ishanam this five faces das panchakrityas each face each dimension is not just one f a c e face p h a s e face it's not just f a c e p h a s c understand the creation not just creation getting created even sustenance need to be created destruction need to be created and pulling out of delusion need to be created liberation need to be created then create creation manifestation need to be maintained maintenance sthiti itself need to be maintained destruction samhara the rejuvenation need to be sustained maintained when it is happening pulling out of delusion throbava need to be maintained when it is happening and anugraha liberation need to be maintained when it is happening those micro milliseconds when it is happening so understand satyojata murti as five phase ishana murti as five phase vamadeva murti as five phase agora murti as five phase tatpurusha murti as five phase so tatpurusha murti as is five phase agora murti has is five phase 
Vamadeva Murti has his five faces. Satyojata Murti has his five faces. Ishana Murti has his five faces. All these five Murtis, five five faces put together is twenty five faces of Mahasada Shiva. Bhagwan beautifully explain Parameshiva. Now, who is his divine holiness, Bhagwan Nityananda Parameshiva? Let's hear from Bhagwan himself. Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam, is a reviver of Kailasha, the ancient enlightenment civilization, the great cosmic borderless nation. is an avatar from and is a supreme pontiff of Hinduism. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam, has made signs of our manifestation, yoga, temple based university. For humanity, so which in order of Kailasha, led by His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam, and Nityananda Order of Monks, Nuns, Hindu diasporas are working for global peace to give superconscious breakthrough to humanity. Nityananda Hindu University, world's largest with extended campus in 150 countries, is collecting, organizing, preserving, time capsuling, decoding, spreading, and reviving 20 million source books of Hinduism and 64 sacred arts, science like Ayurveda, music, dance, sculpting, astrology, Vastu and many more. His Divine Holiness Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam is 293rd Guru Mahasanidhanam of Shamala Pita Sarvanya Pita, ancient apex body of Hinduism and present emperor of Surya Vamsa Surangi Swamrajyam. His Divine Holiness Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam has survived the worst persecution of multiple assassination attempts on person and character by anti-Hindu elements. Beautifully Bhagwan now explains who is His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Nityananda Parameshivam. Everything is infinitely powerful. You realize your potentiality. You establish yourself in the completion, space of completion. You are God, that's all. All of us are gods. The first experience is that I was able to see everything around me, above me, the whole 360 degree. I realized not only I was able to see, I was able to feel experience the skin of the stone on rock on which I was sitting and the skin of this body both carry me equally in both I exist equally Sangha is a place where the tattvas are taught to you and till it becomes satya, you are supported. Akadas are basically founded by Sadashiva himself. All is ganas, Shiva ganas, exactly the word gana means. In your length, breadth, depth, if you are filled by Shiva, you are Shivagana. All the Shivaganas formed the first Akkada. Later on, much later, Kapilamuni organizes Mahanirvani Akkada. Then, all other Akkadas. Mahamandaleshwar of Mahanirvani Akada, the oldest apex body of Hinduism, I welcome every one of you. What I am teaching is from original Agamas Yogapada 
the signs very clearly declare sadashiva is very clear manifestation of this powers happen when you experience oneness with sadashiva when you choose your guru the best thing is find a person who is enlightened experience who can play with energy who can directly transmit experience to you and who is in tune with the original shastras the source of the knowledge all the revealed scriptures available about the yoga directly by sadashiva for you to do research study practice question the people who teach the science of our manifestation is a gift to the humanity which is authentic time tested scientific and full proof diksha or the initiation from his divine holiness Nityananda Parameshwar makes the signs directly an experience for the initiates. The experience is directly authenticated by the pramanas. The Shastra pramanas, the eternal, unchangeable truth revealed in the source scriptures, the Veda and Agamas. The Apta pramanas, the experience of the rishis, munis, ganas, nayanamars, alvars, and siddhars, who are the authority of Hinduism, who are who have scientists. who time tested and verified the science of our manifestation the atma pramanas are the avatar who land on the planet earth to give a super conscious breakthrough to humanity his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram this millenniums avatar personal experience of our manifestation shakshi pramanas or the experience of the millions of disciples devotees and followers initiated into the science of our manifestation by bhagwan himself pratyaksha pramanas or the scientific studies which can be measured measuring the effect of being in the enlightened state mind reading nityananda gnana padati for mind reading other topic in the mind what others are having the topic in the mind powerful cognition from bhagwan satsang brings better health or the healing effect in our body not only the yoga even the medical science says constantly your body not only rejuvenates replaces itself please understand not only rejuvenates it replaces itself your body rejuvenates and replaces itself <coughs> biology says once in every year once in a year your liver is replaced not a single cell is the old same cell every cell is replaced your intestine is constantly replaced your blood is constantly replaced your bones are constantly replaced your bone your bone marrow are constantly replaced you are constantly replacing you this is the first truth the second truth which is important truth again proved not only by yoga even by biology medical science your mind creates your body your mind creates your body 5000 years ago yoga and ayurveda sincerely started believing and they have experienced your mind creates the body in the modern day 
Many scientific studies are proving your mind is creating your body. The other day I was reading a beautiful book, Biology of Belief. The author is a great doctor and does a lot of scientific research. He says, your body is not just controlled by DNA or cells as you are taught. It is controlled, even the DNA and cells are controlled by your beliefs, faiths and positive and negative emotions. You are created by your mind. Understand these two truths. You are created by your mind. Your body is created by your mind. And your body constantly replaces itself. If you carry the same mind, you will carry the same disease and reproduce it in your new body also. If you understand this two statement, your mind creates your body. The second truth, your body constantly replaces itself. Now you can understand the third statement. If you carry the same same shaft, you will reproduce the same disease or the same problem in the new body also. Every day your body is creating a new body automatically. It is replacing itself. Because you carry the same old mind, you bring the same disease back to your body and force your body to suffer. So be very clear. If you understand, you are unclutched. If you realize the truth that you are, you are unclutched, unconnected, independent, illogical thoughts, you will stop carrying the same old identity and mind within you. When you stop carrying the same identity, the same mind, you will stop reproducing the same disease in the new body. You will stop reproducing the same pains, same depression, same difficulty, same disease in the new bodies which your nature is creating. If you are unclutched, you will allow your body to heal from the disease which you are already having and you will create a new body, new system which will be more immune, energetic, alive. Beautifully he said how we can be alive in our body. Let's go to the Shastra Pramana. The Shastra Pramana for the power of mind reading is taken from the Shiva Sutra, Sutra 1.15. Hridaye Chitta Samghata Drishya Swapadarshanam Hridaye Chitta Samghata Drishya Swapadarshanam Shiva Sutra 1.15 Bhagwan Parmashiva beautifully says when the individual mind is united to the core of consciousness, every observable or objective phenomenon and even the absence of every objective phenomenon is directly experienced as a form of consciousness and appears in the existential reality as it is. So beautiful here, Bhagwan gives a powerful cognition how our mind creates the body. Every time we create and recreate whatever the thought currents and put the impression on it. Bhagwan beautifully says once, one devotee asked Bhagwan, how did you heal somebody? He just says, I go into the deep space of Samadhi. When I go into that, 
the person next to me also falls into that deep space, entangles with me, and he forgets to copy his old records into the new cells. And when he does that, the new cells are regenerated with the energy, new energy that he's building and forget the whole pattern and simply start generating his new body. Such is our powerful space we keep on having the cells which dies and moves and new cells are forming. And every three months, literally our whole bone structures are different. Every one year, the whole system in the body is completely new cells. So how do we have the whole uh, old memory? It's only because the mind is recording and replaying it for the body every time and getting it more and more worse as we grow further and deeper and deeper into believing that mind is true. Here Bhagavan says, if you stop copying it, simply you will be into the space of oneness, the space of existential reality, the space of experience as a form of consciousness. Here he says how we can exist as unclutched from the mind, constantly, continuously unbroken, Throughout the day, when we are unclutched, when we experience that space, I am Paramashiva is my only strength. All that the mind is experiencing is only a dream. How you would treat a dream when you wake up in the morning, you will be simply whatever great or whatever sorrow, you will be simply out of it in a jiffy. Same way, you can be out of it when you understand this whole life is nothing but a dream. And it is not real. However deep the cancer is or however deep the problems are, Bhagavan says, when you start declaring, I'm going to live 140 years, simply your body will come out of it because it's now having a very powerful cognition that it has to regenerate and adjust itself to the higher reality. So giving itself to the higher reality that I am eternal simply will make you manifest the ultimate reality. Bhagavan gives a very powerful cognition through this Shastra Pramana. The Apta Pramana, reading the top in Mahabharata, Udyoga Parva, Vyasa Mahabharata. In Mahabharata, Krishna reminds Kunti that Karna is her son and tells Kunti to go to Karna and inform him that she is his mother in order to save the rest of the Pandava. Kunti meets Karna and reveals that she is his birth mother. Kunti asks Karna to join with the Pandava, but he refuses to do so. Apta Pramana are the Leelas of Bhagwan. At age of 12, grand narrator was Arunagiri Yogishwara and Arnamali Swami. Every situation, I think, how he will behave, how he will respond, how he will react. So they became my grand narrator inside. How Bhagwan lived the presence of God and how they would be, his gurus would behave. And he lived that and started living that highest reality. Now let's listen to Bhagavan. Rikkural was discovered in that Tadinam only. It was stored and still they own it. So soon we will reclaim his identity and bring that grand narrative back. So this grand narrative is one of the most important thing to guide the existing civilization or to bring any revolution in the civilization or to guide the flow of the civilization or even to revive any civilization. For anything, you need a clear-cut grand narrative so that your inner image can 
be beautifully aligned if i have to tell you the truth my grand narrative was arunagiri yogeshwara and annamalai swamigal all the time i will remember only this two any practical actions annamalai swamigal any of this mystical inner space arunagiri yogeshwara if i have to move, move the mountains or do something great then immediately fall into arunagiri yogeshwara space it will be done we will win the game and any ordinary action facing things first thing i'll think at this moment how our annamalai swami will respond that is the way i grew up till the age of 12 my grand narrative was arunagiri yogeshwara and annamalai swami every situation i'll think how he will behave how he will respond how he will react so they became my grand narrative insight see you need a grand narrative only then you can align your inner image to it need of the guru itself is nothing but a need for grand narrative your need for guru is nothing but your need of grand narrative whoever accepts me as guru for all of you i become the grand narrative without even telling this is the way the grand narratives gets built we had thousands of grand narratives in each locality for example whole maharashtra gyaneshwar was the grand narrative sant gyaneshwar whole karnataka bhagwan basavanna he was the grand narrative whole tamil nadu gyana sambandha and few more saints who came after jnana sambandha they were the grand narrative if i look what can be the grand narrative of hinduism it cannot just be a concept it has to be a person very physical down to earth which people can perceive in their level and play with their visualization use it to align themselves if a concept can be a grand narrative of hinduism then seeking is the grand narrative of hinduism it just can't be seeking we will have to demonstrate show the grand narrative which can be cherished enjoyed visualized played with your visualization with which you can play with your visualization which can inspire you 
to align your inner image which can remind you again and again the highest purpose of your existence seeking which can raise you to the space of seeking again and again shakshi pramanas are the initiated disciple devotees all around the world manifesting the powers here we have a demo of the devotees ma manifesting the power of mind reading intensity why do you want to attend parama shivoham and you know surrender it to him he will show you how to manifest the money you don't need to like you know struggle for it yes this is what swami ji was revealing also another thing that i uh, saw to third eye aya is oh of course can you please share whatever that was revealed to the third eye any clicks that you've gotten uh, can you repeat the question again any clicks you've received yes definitely what she's saying is in a emotional kind of or a psychological kind of a state uh, that i am uh, reminding is what uh, exactly i've got to know and i agree with the, the thoughts that you are sharing ma it was uh, very much factual mm. see how they revealed the issues that the person has got and completed them and the participant agreed how whatever they were saying and was ready to do the completion for manifesting more powers with this let's go to the instruction and verification details so that we know how to manifest the power of mind reading reading the topic of others mind and go through the pratyaksha pramana also the scientific details to understand more deeper of the power manifestation pratyaksha pramana scientific studies what can be measured measuring the effect of being in enlightenment state a new study brings scientists one step closer to mind reading Researchers have developed a technique that uses the brain waves captured by the EEG machines to reconstruct the images you see. In the following video, you will now watch while the scenario exists only in the realm of science fiction, new research from the University of Toronto Scarborough brings it one step closer to reality. Scientists have used EEG data brain waves to reconstruct images of faces shown to subjects. In other words, they're using EEG to tap into what a subject is seeing. for power of mind reading uh, the topic of others camera with time stamp nyananjan pencil and paper for both partner and manifester and explain to the partner what exactly step by step you'll be doing make them sit comfortably and make them understand how they're going to be 
uh, writing and scanning and after that video recording and sharing let's go to the video setup download the timestamp click on the video make sure ensure the time is shown on the screen clearly ensure the camera is focusing you and the per partner in wide angle ensure the whole place is very well lit and there is no background sound all these are great moments of recording don't miss recording the shakti avishkarna guidelines turn on the video recording apply the nyan engine on your third eye ha bring your awareness on your third eye ask the partner to write on the topic whatever topic he would have it in the mind all the topic that he is going through scan the partner and write down the topics as seen through the third eye when the partner finish writing the topic he can show or he or she can show it in the camera without showing to the manifester then once the manifester writes all the topics as seen in their mind in the third eye as keep the paper in front of the camera both the paper so that it can be very authentically seen how the manifestation happens verify every detail if it matches exactly you have manifested the power or if you just feel the kundalini energy and if you feel only some part is correct then you have started manifesting the powers please go ahead and celebrate more and more by sharing to your friends and family you will start manifesting more in the depth verify all the videos are authentically recorded share the video with powerful cognition and listen to others experience of manifestation of these powers for entanglement power manifestation instructions let's sit straight the head neck and back in a straight line so that beautifully the kundalini energy raises to the agnya where the manifestation happens usually we are, our, our um, awareness is on muladhara swadishtana and manipuraha where navel center your below navel center here bringing the awareness to your third eye and sitting straight will give us amazing possibility of power manifestation now let's understand few words that bhagwan is repeatedly using shakti pada oneness be unclutched initiation so here first we will see in bhagwan's words what is shakti pada let me give an introduction about what is shakti pada process please understand you would have seen or heard about how the chicken sits on the egg and hatches of course in the modern countries this does not happen machine sits on the egg and <laughs> our egg sits on the machine in those days originally when <laughs> hens and chicken were getting produced on the planet earth the hen used to sit on the chicken and hen used to sit on the egg and the <laughs> chicken will come out of the egg see same way sadashiva sitting means the ultimate cosmic energy sitting on the individual soul and making the individual soul into cosmic energy is shakti pada hen sitting on the egg and making the chicken happen same way you may think how come what is going on here that hen is only sitting just by the body heat of the hen and the egg is becoming chicken because no surgery is done and nothing goes inside it's only sitting same way it is just sitting it's only the presence the shakti pada makes the individual soul into cosmic soul 
beautifully Bhagavan explained Shakti Pada, how individual soul becomes cosmic soul. And let's listen to initiation. See, let me explain the initiation. Initiation is the process beyond your intellectual understanding. The transmission of lamp happens. Now, you understood something intellectually. There is something which is not understood, which can't be transmitted through the words. That is transmitted. That's what we call initiation. Sometime I tell you know, people, but unless you are initiated, the techniques do not create the result. The reason is you do not grasp completely whatever is expressed through words. Initiation is like a, it just transmits whatever need to be transmitted beyond logic and beyond words. People ask me, why to wear this bracelet or this mala and all those things? This all will remind you. Why bracelet in the hand? It will remind you before eating, did you meditate? <laughs> it's a constant reminder. Before eating, let you be reminded, did you do the meditation? That is why this bracelet. That is why this mala. That is why this external things. Sometimes, this external things does a big job of reminding you constantly. That is why take the help of external things also, nothing wrong. People ask me, why we can uh, just be spiritual without having external things? If you can, really you are welcome. But I don't think anybody who speaks in that way is successful. I have never seen people becoming successful, avoiding the external things, just having internal things. And it is just nice way of escaping from yourself. Beautifully, Bhagwan explain initiation. Let's listen to be unclutched. What is to be unclutched? The thoughts, every thought is independent, illogical, unconnected, and unclutched because the gap between two thoughts is too small. The neutral space between the two, two thoughts is too small. You think all the thoughts are connected and it is in the sharp form. It is not. By your very nature, every thought is independent, illogical, unconnected and unclutched. Every, between every thought, you experience a neutral space. When you change the gear, whether you go from neutral to one or one to two or two to three or three to four or four to whatever, whatever gears may change, but every time you have to come to the neutral space, only then you can go to the next gear. Even if you want to go from two to three, you have to come to the neutral space, only then you can go to three. Same day, between every thought, you experience a neutral space. You experience a neutral space between every thoughts. Between every thought, that neutral space, that silence is what I call peace or bliss. The peace which exists, the bliss which exists already in you, between every thought, the gap of the thought, the gap between the thoughts, the neutral space is the peace, is the bliss. When you understand, you are unconnected, independent, illogical and untouched by your very nature, you will start experiencing the neutral space in you, neutral space which exists in you, you will start living from moment to moment. 
in spontaneity. We need to understand one more thing. This technique of being unclutched, it does miracles in your being, in the body level or in the mental level or in the being level. In every level, when you understand the truth, by your very nature, you are unclutched. The tremendous quantum transformation. You take a quantum jump, the transformation happens in quantum, not step by step. Just on jump. You take a quantum jump and experience the truth awakening in you. The oneness space is the most beautiful space that Bhagwan himself is explaining how we are ferocious beyond the tiredness and boredom we can experience the space of oneness and be unclutched. Oneness is not imagination. Oneness is not visualization. Oneness is not even just declaration. It is your existence. An idea which is you is oneness. The idea which has become part of your very space which does not tire you or bore you by the passage of the time is oneness. Mahadeva says in the Agama, Sadashiva beautifully explains in the Agama, Kala, Yama cannot tire you or bring boredom to you if something becomes your space. Devi achieved the blissful state and union with Mahadeva on Shivaratri day because our space became oneness. Anything which brings tiredness or boredom has not yet become your space. If living in this body brings you tiredness and boredom, you are not going to be living in this body forever. When that becomes too much, you are going to drop it and move ahead. If you want to be in oneness forever, it should become part of your space means you should become ferocious with you and break this very tiredness and boredom. Only when you deal you with the ferociousness, you break the tiredness and boredom. With that ferociousness, you need to make oneness as your space. Anything stands as a imagination in the length level, visualization in the breadth level, declaration in the depth level. If you open your time with ferociousness, it just sinks into space level. With this ferociousness, the time layer in you opens and the oneness from imagination to visualization to declaration, it becomes your space. The way of existence. The most important, Bhagavan says, being unclutched, understanding the Shakti Pada, the oneness space, and chanting the Mahavakya. The Mahavakya, the power of the Mahavakya pushes you into the higher states of consciousness. Here Bhagwan himself explains how we can experience the Shaktipada raised higher consciousness through Mahavakya. It's one of the very important revelation by Sadashiva. All the electronic equipments work 
when the electrons are made to vibrate that that happens by the light when the electricity is supplied the light particle vibrates the electronic equipment starts working just like that the spiritual power and the umbilical cord connection spiritual umbilical cord connection between you and me it works with sound particle for example my integrity with the cosmos sadashiva maha sadashiva it reverberates in certain level of frequency when you are integrated to me you also start reverberating in the same frequency if your integrity goes down that is when you start connecting with me only as a manager or this organization head or your purvasham father mother your connection with me goes down to the lower level if the integrity gets reduced i was wondering what is the way we can bring people to the higher integrity immediately and the feeling connection so they start manifesting the powers they start staying in the space of sadashivatva sadashiva revealed a beautiful sound i can tell you this is like a password at any point if you are not able to bring yourself to oneness you are a little shaken disturbed or for some reason you are not able to bring yourself to oneness this is like a password you type whether your mind feels connected or not the energy will start flowing in you beyond the depth dimension you see all mind oscillation restlessness all mental idea based feeling connected or not feeling connected is only length breadth depth level not in the space level but this sound will straight infuse energy from the space level like for example if the power goes off automatically the generator will get switched on and the power supply will be going on so end result will not be lost whether government power supply or the generator power supply end result will not be stopped so whenever you feel little that oneness is you are not catching it just feed this password immediately the oneness will open up and you will start manifesting the powers energy and the whole space will shift it is directly from sadashiva it's a beautiful sound i don't even want to say it's a mantra it is not even a mantra because there is no meaning in it you can't derive a meaning for it it just flashed like a password for all the initiations i am giving one single password for all the initiations i am giving and the initiations i gave i am giving i will be giving for all that this is like one password don't even repeat like a mantra just feed like a password and it will just open up your whole being will open up listen carefully it starts with the vibration o listen and then repeat om very deep om nityananda nityananda maha sada shivo So Bhagwan gave beautiful explanation of how you can be in Shakti Pada. Visualize Paramashiva who has come down as Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashiva from Kailasha. Remembering Paramashiva in your third eye again and again, bringing your awareness to your third eye simply makes you manifest powers. Absolute unclutching. How Bhagwan said, the neutral zone, nothing ever touches the screen. 
like same way the movie does not touch the screen whether it is happening in ferocious or any soft beautiful nothing touches the screen be unclutched like the screen and to experience the state of parameshiva your inner space being completely unclutched complete completion to experience the space of parameshiva inside us the complete completion happens when we are in tune with parameshiva that everything is redundant and irrelevant the essence of completion is irrelevant nothing matters in your life because everything is complete completion oneness with parameshiva how bhagwan said in ferocious breaking the boredom and tiredness just being in the space of oneness with parameshiva to manifest the powers of parameshiva tyaga as parameshiva is your only strength now declaring complete integrity with bhagwan to experience the being of parameshiva how bhagwan said chanting the maha vakya raises your frequency and that is your only strength to manifest any reality being in this beautiful space of parameshiva you can experience such a beautiful space state powers and becoming the being of parameshiva manifesting whatever you want now you will be manifesting the powers watching the oneness capsule and chanting the maha vakya om nityananda parameshivoham we'll be playing the maha vakya and the oneness capsule for you to manifest powers at end of the maha vakya you can start with the verification and sharing and causing thank you
शिवम नंद परमशिवंद परमशिवं परमशिवंद परमशिवं Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour. Let the Varni open up. Manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva. Or to manifest the power in all of us today. Om Jnana Paramashivam. Om Jnana Paramashivam. परमशिवंद परमशिवं परमशिवंद 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 
Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour. Let the Varni open up. Om Jnana 
Verification process. No video editing of Shakti Avishkarna videos. Very verify video is not stopped or restarted during the process. All the video verification with timestamp and wide angle view. No clues, hints, or Bluetooth or gadget should be there during the manifestation. If you would like to use Aushada, Yantra, Krishna Shila, Paramashiva Shila, Banyan Leaf, Mirror, or Kavi, please go ahead and do so. Apply the Nyana engine and use your third eye to scan using these spiritual product and re reveal the truth. Authentically write down all the detail of the topic that has been seen through the third eye and it should match exactly no interpretation or no tampering of the data after you write down once. More and more authentic, more manifestation happens. Please make sure everything is authentic. Thank you for participating in the power manifestation of mind reading the topic. Beautiful. We are at the end of the power manifestation, but most important part of the power manifestation. Here, we are going to share all that you have manifested with the social media groups. Here, we have Sri Kalasha Kotiyar Manifesting Power Groups. Thousands of people are part of that. And you can share there and you can post your powerful cognition and the videos. The link is tinyurl.com slash power manifestation. 
it is at the left corner of the page you can click on it and you can post your beautiful experience in the power manifestation group why sharing and causing is very important part of power manifestation bhagwan beautifully exp explains that sharing is pulling us out of delusion and causing is liberating us we are the ones who need to start experiencing the higher states of reality how we need to exist beautifully bhagwan explains when you are sharing with others the ultimate beautiful multidimensional logic your brain rewires into the higher space of consciousness the thurya tita state again and again when you experience even a little bit you share with the world your experience becomes reality same thing when you cause others to come and get initiated for higher reality you are caused into the higher purpose the ultimate reality bhagwan says extreme causing extreme power manifestation is extreme causing so beautifully he explains how we our strength is declared on parameshiva the power manifestation happens exactly in tune to that and sharing with the world continuously reiterating ourselves the experience that we had from the powerful cognition and manifesting the space of parameshiva the state of parameshiva the beings of parameshiva we become parameshiva go on sharing and causing which is the most important part of how you have experience your reality when you go to a temple we pray and we see that beautiful experience happen in us and then share with the world that how amazing the temple experience has manifested as your reality same way when you manifest powers when you share with the world it becomes more and more the depth cognition of you and you will be experiencing more powers even if you are manifested very small it does not matter the quantity bhagwan says the quality is important if it is authentic please go ahead and share with the world do not doubt have self doubt self denial self hatred come and block anything experience the ultimate in deep seeking and gratitude bhagwan manifest in you with a deep prayer that asking bhagwan to make this reality as your existential reality with that let's end with the purna mantra thanking bhagwan for all these great experience we have come to the end of the power manifestation course and we end with the purna mantra om purnamada purnamidam purna purnamadashyate purnasya purnamataya purnameva avashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Om Tat Sat Sarvam Bhagavate Sri Nityananda Parameshwaram Padaka Arpanam Astu Om Nityanandam Thank you for participating in the Jnana Patati Nityananda Jnana Patati course please go ahead and select more power manifestation and every day experience the ultimate reality for yourself Nityananda ಪರಮಶಿವೋಹಂ <laughs>